Hello, I've had a question in Unit 4. This is Lesson 7, and it's Part 1. So the base of an isosceles triangle is 20 centimeters. So here's my isosceles, so those are of equal length. The altitude, a different color here. So here's my height or altitude. So it is, what's it doing here? It's increasing. So dh by dt is increasing at 1 centimeter a minute, very painful uh, rate of increase. So at what rate is the base angle? So we're talking about the angle down there. So we are looking for d theta by dt. That is my unknown. When the area is 100 centimeters squared. So the first thing I need to do is I need to work with my area formula a little bit here. Because that is going to be... Um, Part of the question at some point, one half base times the height. Now I already know the base is 20, so that's not changing. So we can plug that in. So one half 20 times h. So area equals 10 h. Now we need an expression with that height. The nice thing with symmetry from uh, an isosceles triangle is that the altitude will cut an isosceles in half. So that means that the base of this right angle triangle here would be 10. So I'm going to use opposite and adjacent. So we are going to use the tan function here. So off to the side, I'm going to go tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So tan theta equals h for the height or altitude of the triangle over 10, or h equals 10 tan theta. So now I have my height. So now I can plug that into my equation. So my area equation is actually 10, 10 tan theta equals 100 tan theta. So we, uh, so Here's, I've kind of come to a, a I've stopped and, and kind of reflected here because I don't know, I'm going to get dA by dt here. I don't, I don't know dA by dt. Uh, area is not playing a role in here at all. I have area, but I don't have the change in rate of area, so I don't want to take the derivative of, and get dA by dt. But I do have dH by dt. So dH by dt means I need to have hypotenuse or the altitude in my final question here. So... So because I've decided I don't I don't I don't want this because it has a uh, dA it'll end up with dA by dt. I'm now realizing that reflecting on what do I really need here. So I want to know d theta by dt, and I need to have h included. So now I realized I've overthought it because I have that right here. I have an h and a theta. So I'm gonna cross out that line. I'm going to continue on. So I'm going to take the derivative there, and that gives me dh by dt equals 10 secant squared theta, and the derivative of theta is d theta by dt. So I have the information that I want right there. I'm looking for d theta by dt, so I can do the substitution. So dh by dt is 1, 10. So I need secant squared. I need theta. So I'm going to find an angle, d theta by dt. So all my work wasn't for naught because I will get the angle from right here. So I know that the area is 100 equals 100 tan theta. I like the way that works out. So 1 equals tan theta. And that occurs when theta is at a 45 pi by 4. So I can take that information and go over here and finish off the question. So I put pi by 4 in there. And now I go ahead and do my calculation. So I'm going to have 1 equals, and you can do this however you want. You can rearrange it first if you want. So I'm going to do the uh, secant squared. Multiply that by 10. So I get 20 d theta by dt. 
And now I end up with a final answer of d theta by dt equals 1 20th of a rad per minute. Which is also equal to 0 0.05 rads. So there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll try to clarify them.